last time, we hit the mines and we got Rocket Dash. So, big items I know I wanted to get into today. Using it to try and cross that rocket, that acid lake, I'm pretty sure, um, pretty sure I can go across and figure out what's over there. I wanted to do uh, the second round of the Gladiator Arena, and finally, I'm hoping to actually find that uh, blacksmith because uh, I've got I've got two pale ore. I assume I need that to upgrade my weapon, but um, I don't remember where he was. I kind of got distracted by ooh shiny, ooh a piece of candy, ooh a piece of candy. So um, those are big three. And then uh, we'll see. We'll see what else we come across along the way. Let's see. I believe. Oh, I was so busy with everything else, I forgot to plug in my controller. There we go. So let's see, I believe, yes, the Colosseum, so we're already close to the Colosseum, let's go ahead and do that first. Go away, go away, I don't like you, I don't like you. Ow. Okay. We are not off to a good start. Uh, let's see, how did I do Rocket Dash? That's right, L2. Okay. We are also still missing whatever it is that will let me... Okay. That will let me break, um... The shaky ground things. That's really starting to bug me. Right, there's unexplored areas to the right here. Nope. Well, that would be why they are unexplored, I guess. Else still doesn't do anything. Oh. Hey there, little guys. Goodbye, little guys. I am certainly excited for this week. I've made some really good progress on my project of wanting to... I kind of... I had an idea for a lore video sort of thing, but I kind of want to do it all on my own, at least for, you know, that initial one. I'm no artist. I'm no video editor, but I don't know. It's kind of fun to uh, put something together by your own hands. I'm, I'm learning a lot which hopefully will translate into just better made stuff. Cause I know, I know I've done some little scuffy, scuffy stuff like this little uh, Hollow Knight mask. I would like to also be able to do other incidental fun things to put on for various games. Make my own little scrung, scrungly, uh, Not emotes. What's the word? The little um, 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 preview. Little preview pictures. I don't know. I always thought that's kind of fun. It's also easier because you know if I can if I can do like a bare minimum of not what I meant to do, a uh, bare minimum of art myself. 
certainly saves some money in the long run. Um, as much as I love, love, love commissioning persons, uh, I am not Bezos. I do not have infinite money to give to all the great people who can create what I cannot. I think I mostly just need a few more... I think there's about three or so more scenes. And then I'm going to move on to the uh, trying to animate it all together. Ah, you know what? I need to I need to lure the bug over there. I bet. And then I could uh, bounce up there. But they don't. Those bugs don't really follow me. I don't know if I really can lure him. Yeah. The the. The last recent one I finished, I think, is going to be the hardest one, just because I got really ambitious, and it was, uh, it's like a interior stylized cave, and it, um, really challenged me, especially because I do not have experience in, uh, traditional paints, and I'm using a program that's more for emulating those things, like watercolors and uh, oils. So even though I can get a lot of those really fun textures and effects, um, the way the colors mix um, as pigments rather than as uh, RGB takes uh, some getting used to. Also, what up, Aurora? I do be hollow and I be doing good. Um, it's uh, certainly a Monday. Uh, I wanted to start earlier, but I uh, just uh, could not. Work got me scrambled. That's why I keep my my fun games for Mondays. It's always something to look forward to. What about you? Ah! Oh no! I almost forgot he's there. Ah! Anything fun this weekend? Ooh, some writing. Just some standard prose? Or like a, a script kind of thing. Okay, all of you, die. Ah, so for like a book or a web serial? Ah. Hey man. Good on you, sometimes all you need is uh, a few paragraphs now and then. And things, things certainly add up. I think it also helps if you kind of find the... You just kind of know the, the kind of writer, kind of writer you are. Um, some Web Zero authors I highly respect is kind of talking about how his process is he, he uh, he's a kind of a he's more of a gardening kind of writer so he kind of he kind of writes a bunch of stuff like he might put his characters in a certain situation and then he just kind of trims it he prunes it and adjusts from there um, rather than trying to plan every specific detail out before putting pen to paper Sometimes it's the way you're approaching it, um, just coming at it from a different angle and a different perspective can unblock you if you ever have any uh, any troubles. Not just writing, I think in art as well. Um, as I was just talking about, there's uh, I'm trying to put sort of a, a lore video for myself together, but I wanted to do it all, at least the strongly initial one myself. So I've been doing a lot of 
art. And this most recent one took me a l I think it took me seven iterations of it. Um, and to do, and I think it's going to be the most complex one um, of just sort of like this kind of cave scene. And uh, every iteration was, so like two of the iterations was kind of like an outside looking into a cave. And it just wasn't working out. So I took a step back, looked for other other ones that might caught my eye. And I saw one that was really neat of like inside a cave with like an open hole. And trying that out, it didn't feel right to me, like as is. But I thought about playing, I kind of played with the colors a little bit, just kind of like shifting it between reds and blues, just kind of seeing how it made the picture change. And I kind of started liking um, this sort of bluish, purplish color that was going on. And then I ended up settling on, oh crap, did I? I don't think I meant to do that. And then I got the idea of trying to do a kind of a more stylized color palette where I have like blues up just on the ceiling in the hole near the hole and all that, but then have like purples on the ground and side walls and trying to create a contrast between the two with that. I don't think I went all the way up. Oh, I was supposed to cut to the right to get the Coliseum of Fools. That's right. And even with doing that, it still took me still took me another four tries to get one I was satisfied with. Hopefully it won't take me as long for the other scenes I feel I need to do. I mean, I'm sort of a I am my own boss situation. No, actually I have done basically no art uh, for the longest time. Um, I have... There's that, there's that part of the creative process that's always been the worst part for me. And that is like when you're just starting out, you have the picture in your head of what you want to put out. Um, and you don't have, you don't have the muscle memory. You may not know like some of the techniques to build up to it. And that always stopped me. Um, but I would say in the last amount of soul gain, yeah, let's get the amount of soul gain. The last couple of years or so, I've been trying to sort of hang out in more artistic spaces, like more, I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional about like pushing past it, pushing past that barrier and getting better. Um, what really helped is I was I happened to see a program on sale, um, the one that I was talking about that kind of focuses more on emulating traditional media, so like the watercolors, oils, and paints, because like digital art is cheaper in that you know I don't have to buy like paints and pencils and all the drawing pads and all those things. I can just you know. Well, I could use my mouse, but it's struggle. It's a struggle. So I, up, I have like a really cheap used um, tablet that's good enough for my purposes at the moment. Um, but what the program lets me do is that it lets me it lets me like be messy because like when I messed around in um, it was mostly like GIMP and some other free um, programs, art programs, before now. Um, I always feel like I had to be very intentional and precise with every pen stroke or where I was putting every possible color. Like, maybe there's maybe there's tricks that I don't know, just because, you know, I haven't done art too much. Come on, give me, give me a space to heal. There we go. But with Rebel, it being like oils and paints, like I, I can just kind of slap down some reds, some blues, and I just kind of 
Just kind of push it around. And that's what I did with, like, uh, the cave painting. Is like, I, I kind of put in... I blocked in some large splashes, and then I just kind of went back and forth with, uh, with my paint. And I had it in, like, this soft blending mode. So it was constantly creating shapes, and I tried to alternate between hard and soft pressure to, you know, change between blending and painting. And then after a while, I would take a break, um, look at it, and just kind of see what shapes were coming about. And then I would refine it from there. So, like, some parts... Uh, since it was like a cave and I wanted to have like rocks, I would look at and be like, all right, so this kind of this kind of curve, I kind of like how this curve is turning out. So let me take this color, let me lighten it a little bit and kind of start creating some highlights, or let me try and get a darker shade and create some darks. Um, some places I'm like, you know, I don't really like how this is turning out. Let me just paint over it and see see if uh, just some randomness of going again has anything come about. Ah! Slag. I saw that coming. Okay, this round two is already starting off with some harder enemies. <laughs> I... It's... I don't know. I think it might... It. I don't know. I, I, I kind of suspect I have some kind of... I don't know. I don't know if it's like disassociation stuff. That does not sound like the right term. But like, sometimes like, I feel like my, my mind and my hands and mouth and whatever, like, start running on different tracks. So, like, it looks good in something like this, but um, it's really bad when I'm, like, driving because I'll hear, like, the, the navigation will be like, turn left here, and I will turn right. And, like, I won't even realize it until I've been going for, like, another minute, and I'm like, wait, what? What did I just do? So, there is a blessing. Ah, slag. Slag. Okay. I think I got too busy trying to heal. I think what I really should have done is focused on the needles. The, the mosquito guys. Because at least with the um, triple shot dudes... I would be able to block off. I feel like we have barely got into that fight, too. Ugh, take a sip of water. Alright, second try. Definitely some new enemies, too. I don't know if they are Colosseum exclusive, or if they're pulling from areas I have not gone yet. Because I feel like this guy, he looks like a gladiator. I would not be surprised if this dude is like a Colosseum specific enemy. The only other place I could think is if he's like some kind of elite person in um, City of Tears. Because I think the City of Tears was the place, yeah, because that has like a bunch of nobles and stuff. So I would expect some kind of like nightlight characters there. No other area is coming to mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got for me now? Ah! Ah! All right, back to full. No big deal. No big deal. Now when it's one of them, it's really easy to pogo away. But I wanted to have full soul for this part. 
Fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burst him down. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Doing good, doing good. All right, we got these guys. Come on. Come on. Nope. Oh, that was a waste. Oof. Ah! Oh, blood gnashes. What the heck are those guys? Those are the gas mask guys, but they're they're all strongle. They're gooping everywhere. All right. All right. So note to self. Um, there's another wave of mid-wave enemies on that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see about swapping out some of my stuff. I want to keep the invul frames. More soul. Do I have anything better than more soul? I mean, it let me heal faster, but I would rather have a way of damaging more. Hey, old box. Yep, it's bug time. <laughs> yeah, that's strong movements. Okay, note to self, my shadow form can hurt me. I did not know that could happen. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like those enemies. Um, I think it was in the, the very first stream. I don't know if you were there, because I, I fought like the boss one. Um, those guys make me think of uh, that one... One of the more well-known uh, Doctor Who episodes with... Uh, uh, where they land during the bombing of London, uh, World War II. And there's like the the virus thing that infects people and they get those old school gas masks on their faces. Um, that's what they remind me of and I do not like it. I do not like them at all. But like, that was the first time I've seen um, that orange goop, like, on, on an enemy I already know, so... I wonder. I wonder if we're gonna. I wonder if it's like closer to whatever the source of it is. Cause like we know there's the blue one, the blue juice that's supposedly forbidden. And, you know we're we're definitely seeing like the orange juice come out from a lot of enemies. So I wonder if it's also one of the forbidden juices for a different reason. Yeah, th th that that dude was moving. This guy, however, is getting dunked on. Imagine being that guy. I feel like I'm really regretting doing uh, the Colosseum first, rather than hunting for... Uh, the blacksmith. I feel like a lot of my troubles are just simply because I don't have any upgrades for my nail yet. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm getting uh, hunter progress.
I don't know if that actually does anything or if it just unlocks like lore. We'd love to see it. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I don't like you. Okay. They they are gooping it up, but they are very manageable. Unlike the triple shot. That guy needs to stop. Okay, you know what? I said they were manageable. You know what? They still are because I can push them. And there's a couple safe zones. Okay, this is a good recovery time. Okay, they do, they do explode. I love that for them, but not really, because I have bad track record with people who explode. With enemies that explode, at least. So there's the, uh, like, grenadier dudes that mucked me up. I either get hit by their gas cloud, or when they explode. The, uh, the enemies, <laughs> I didn't mean to say people, the, uh, ooh, we're dancing. The, um, that was tricksy as heck. Um, the guys who have, like, the gas, um, effects. Oh, that's not good. I do not like this. I need to set this up so I have time to heal. Um, because when you... They can... They do like a point blank... Um, gas explosion. But they can also do a... Uh, sometimes they explode on death as well. And that on death sometimes gets me. marathon, not a race. Okay, I think the next one is going to be mixing in some of the big jumpers. Yup! It's not okay to be who you are or what you do. Big jumper. Okay, this is fine with one of them. But it's not going to stay this easy. Ah! Are you kidding me? Why is the arena so small? Oh my gosh, he can launch off the walls. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Thank you, big arena. Uh oh. What are you doing? Oh god, what the? No, you're a fake! How dare you? Why are you laughing? This is awful! This is terrible! You're terrible people! Not slag. Nope. 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 Not what I meant to do. Not like how you would expect from like a mammalian pet, like a cat or a dog. Um, they do like 
they do, like, remember, and they have some cognizance of their surroundings, especially larger snakes. Um, oh, that was, that was really close. Um, not really, like, angry or cry, but they can certainly... You can do, like, a limited amount of training. So, like, a common one is usually called, like, tap training. So, like, you associate a certain sound or gesture with, hey, it's going to be feeding time. Because um, usually what they'll do is they'll have, like, a... Uh, on the other side of this guy. Have, like, a... Ah! Fucking charger. Have, like, a, a snake hook. And, uh, like, they tap it on their head. Tap it on, like, their head or, like, on the, uh, enclosure. Um, sort of like a signal of, like, hey, get ready, I'm gonna be bringing in some food. Um. And you can sort of, like, it helps reduce the chance of, uh, uh, getting a feeding response when you open the enclosure when you don't intend to, uh, don't intend to feed them. <laughs> Uh, some some snakes are a little or much more um, food sensitive than others. Okay, we'll give it one more try, and then if this doesn't work out, we will move on to finding the blacksmith and or checking acid lake. If, uh, level one nail starter nail, I imagine, is not making this any easier on me. These grubs, man, they have a tricky attack pattern. They are really mucking me up, really harsh in my vibes. Can I get much higher? Well, the draconic heritage, obviously. Uh, the you know, it's it's sort of like the difference between uh between a between a primate and a and a, and a normal human, you know. Now, snakes can't do, they can't do any kind of magic. I mean, I can't fly, but, you know, I've hid my ziggurat pretty well in the jungle. Oh, I'm a foolish fool! Oh, I don't have anything to char heal with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm normal. A little bit, a little bit harder to, uh... Oh, this is a bad decision. A little harder to dodge. Slag. Articulate. Face will... Slag. Face is a little bit, uh... Different. Get that out of the way. Get some health. It's that, uh... That level of... That level of sapience. For example, I'm uh, I'm not really as cold-blooded as normal reptiles. I, I am capable of generating my own heat. Although I tend to uh, slay more towards coldness oh. than a mammal. Okay. All right. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> that was such a stupid mistake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, all right. All right, we'll take it easy. I know where the two, um, two scrongled, scrongled drippers are. 
And then uh, I just ran face first into one and then panic dashed the wrong way. Okay. We will put a pin in the gladiator arena. Let me put my compass back on because I don't know which way is up, left, or down. So let's see. I guess let's go City of Tears. Rocket Dash already makes that nice and easy. Whoa. in City of Tears, isn't it? No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Cancel! Cancel! Um... It's above City of Tears. Ah. Let's see where this leads. I should know, because I've been through here before. Oh! Okay, resting grounds. It's not where I wanted to go, though. Blue Lake. Whee! Saranagano. Alright, now where am I? Still loss. Actually, what if I rocket dash back? Hmm. Hmm. Honk shoe. Definitely a honk shoe. Aha! I thought I heard a heartbeat. Still don't know what these rancid eggs are for, and I am actually kind of scared to find out. Although thankfully any uh, snoring is overtaken by... I see. These two places connect. Uh, would be overtaken by, uh, uh ambiance. He usually likes, like, some stormy weather. I don't have any more charms before she'll sell to me. Fine. Okay, it seems like the game wants us to go back to town real quick for maps and charms. Now when I'm at the press... Up and left. Gotta go up. Gotta go up. 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 Go away! Ah! Easy money. Um. And then down left? Yeah, down left. There we go. I'm gonna get back to town. Ding. Your boss is here. First 
maps. <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada, you said it. Whispering Roots. I don't know what those are. Ooh, Gravefin. That's good. And then I wanted to also get some of these, because I want to start marking... Um, I want to mark every time I find, like, the, the scraggly brown. Oops. Sure, why not, while I'm wasting all my money. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else from this guy. I hope you aren't too disappointed by our little town, Traveler. Though it's now a solemn place, once we were much more welcoming. That trade to the kingdom was forbidden long ago, supposedly after some great calamity. Many gates were closed, but our old well remains a way to creep back in. Over the years, all kinds used the well to wriggle into the ruins. Wanderers, thieves, adventurers. Funny how few ever come back up. Perhaps they find what they're looking for? Ah, I'm not so naive. No doubt they've been gobbled up. There are countless dangers in those depths. Does he have anything new? Okay, nope. I imagine I still gotta hit some major, major, uh, milestone. Maybe, like, some of the, uh, one or multiple of the MacGuffins. Um, not what I meant to press. That's gonna keep happening until I get used to that. Um... don't remember where they mentioned the nail. There's gotta be some place that talks about... Journal... Is this just gonna be enemies? Wait, shades in here. <laughs> Defeat one word on arguments. Heavy fool. Ah. <laughs> uh, and really nothing as a reminder? Because I know someone said, like, where the uh, blacksmith is, like, the general region. Okay, let's then go to the Acid Lake. So let's over in Green Path. I think... I think the best place for me to search would be the, um, the City of Tears, just because I have it, like, not explored at all. So I need to go up and left. I need to go uppies! So far, mm, it's it's really rough between... Green Path and City of Tears, as far as my favorite areas. Just because I love the greenery and the music in this one. 
Wait, can I use Dream Yell on this guy? No. Okay. But I love, 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 love the, uh, the rainwater in, um, City of Tears. They both have got some really good aesthetics. So I gotta... Is that an enemy? Or do I have to like... Or can I ride it? Yep! It's an enemy! Ow! Okay. Wait, no! You didn't let me go anywhere. Oh, my dash persists across rooms. Okay. Um. Hold on, we gotta go back. not do it right? Nope. Hmm, I don't like this. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. You don't have a giant room like this and th there'd be nothing over there. Maybe I need to open something up. Yeah, because I mean there's there's a whole up up area. Although now that I have dash, can I go further left from the howling cliffs? Hmm. Let's try that. Maybe I drop down into it from there. Uh, go right. Up. Right. Why did I do that? Am I losing my mind? I mean, yes, but... More so than normal. <laughs> ah! It's been a while since I've seen you, little guy. Yeah, I gave me quite the fright. died here. Feels so long ago. Yeah, they were a lot of fun. Oh, and you go left more. I thought they were, uh... The first one I fought, I thought was gonna be like a boss. And I'm like, oh, you know, this seems like the kind of guy that would become a, uh, 
normal enemy. And then, like, I immediately run into two of them. I'm like, well, that happened a lot sooner than I expected. Green children walk from the dream unto these lands. Here now we shall wait, patient, for the call to return. Far enough left before cutting. Here we go, once again. I am just breaking everything. Oh, I could just dash across. I wonder if that's what I was missing. Like, I think I needed this dash to be able to get up here. Or I just needed the R2. No? Wait, what? Oh, can I only fall down here? Man. I really waste all that time. Blood and ashes. Well. Today we learned. So. Fastest way to Howling Cliffs then is going to be. No. No, wait, I had to have gotten to it from here. Because I remember coming out through... I remember falling back down into where I started to get to Dirt Mouse. What did I miss? What did I miss? Automod being spooky. I thought I fixed him. Maybe is it up this way? I have absorbed various terms from uh, reading way too much because I know I know blood and ashes is from uh, is it through here Shwing! from uh, the wheel of time series because I read that oh so long ago it is a common uh, Curse. Slag, though? I don't know. That one just kind of came about. Okay, this is looking familiar. This is looking familiar. Okay, that was the part where I dropped down. Okay, okay. I'm on the right track. Here we go. Okay, I can't go against it. Um, but I believe there was a warrior. No, I mean, slag is just, um... Whenever you're forging metal, um, slag is sort of the extra detrius.
uh, auto mod. It is case insensitive. So the fact that you you used lowercase that time, it thought it was a different word. Cool. Perfect. Great design systems. No king, no mind. Release. Was that was that it? Okay, so just because there's a dead person doesn't mean there's useful information to get from them. Noted. I mean, it's Britain. Their expletives are certainly, um, interesting. As far as their common lexicon. Compared to many other places. Give me that money! Up a little more and then see if I can go right. Because that looks unexplored. And if I'm all the way out here, might as well as explore everything. Shaky ground, I hear. I also hear like a weird noise. It's a very strange area. Be a really embarrassing time and way to die. I feel like it would be par for the course, because I am not I am I am coming up all spades. Yup. Oh boy. It do be like that sometimes now, don't it? We are certainly off to some kind of start tonight. <laughs> oh man, we are zero for the gladiator, zero for the acid lake, and uh, zero for whatever the hell I was thinking to do up there. I... I don't know what to tell you, Aurora. Automod has got it out for you today. I think uh, I make, need to make a note to go break its kneecaps after this. I've been hit by one of the stalactites. That sort of is the downside of trying to lean on 
automated moderation systems is, I mean, you're, uh, you're sort of left to the whims of however well it's coded. It's also pretty sure I have it on some pretty low settings. But it's like, I don't want to put it off, because there's absolutely stuff, uh, I shouldn't even need to block to be blocked. Uh, well, never did do this, so I guess might as well as do it. Maybe it will, uh, show me, show me an area I, uh, forgot to get. Yeah, oh, I, this is, this is Twitch. Twitch is inbuilt auto mod. I don't have, uh, I don't have Nightbot. I'm happy that so far I haven't had any shuddery, so I haven't had to worry too much about that. It's more being way too restrict, because like, uh, remember someone got the bat for say dropping an F-bomb, I'm like, hmm, no, you can, you can say fuck here, that's fine. <laughs> Get any as I work my way up the tower. Yeah, and that's the thing, like fine with swearing certainly yeah. Swears is more what I care about as far as things to stop. Well, I imagine it doesn't happen that I have, uh, my cursing has been a little slanted. It is really even cursing, other than just kind of general exclamations that happen to be words. <laughs> okay, don't want to rezone because that will reset it. Shouldn't be too many more. No, no, no. I hate that. Oh, I could have just rocket dashed. Duh. Snarf. Dash! Use the Thunder Dash! <laughs> uh. What am I missing? What am I missing? I think there's one to the left I'm missing. Nope. God, those guys are too, too fuzzy. Da we go! That's what we like to hear. Haven't got any more snow yet. There was... A couple weeks back. We had some pretty decent first snow. Everyone forgot how to drive. That's always the funnest part. Oh, this guy wiggles. Oh, this guy wiggles. I am Gorb! Bow! Bow, bow, bow to Gorb! The great mind! I am Gorb! Ascend! Ascend! Ascend, ascend, ascend with Gorb! Challenge the warrior dream. This guy has substantial brain power. What is this sound? He 
he's a he's a buggy psyker. Right, you're a little a little too early to be trying to trip me up with these kinds of attack patterns. Mon ami. Alright. That was me messing me up, not you actually hitting me. Ah, too close! I imagine he was fun to get designs for. I am Gorn! The great mind! The pain! Ascend! Ascend! I, I am... Your uh, spirit juice is what you are. <laughs> and then my shadow is below me, so... Go and get it. My mind is as substantial as my plumage. Boy, howdy, is my plumage floofy. As Ray might say. <laughs> um, where's that? Down, that's right. Body? Where are you? I don't know what's going on. Okay, dude. That was not very Poggers champion of you. Alright, that was uh, a decision he made. I keep forgetting I can do that. I am just rushing, rushing, rushing. What really gets me is more the um, the flying bugs when they suddenly drop down as I pass. Because I think that one got me twice. If all of this is just to get some Baja Blast, I am going to be peeved. be the most obtuse Baja Blast so far. Shaky rock ground. Ah! Why is this shit not- Ugh. Yeah, it's blue juice. Baja Blast. Oh, is this gonna be the source of it? I feel like I'm going to die if I just let myself drop. Ooh. Joni's Blessing. Oh, hey! Ah, oh, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been a little lacking of late. Isn't it just so peaceful here? Such a perfect place to rest. Oh, I just, I, uh, guess just perform an exorcism. That's cool. Alright, let's, um... Yo, if this is what I use to somehow break through the rocks... Because they had shaky rock, right... Flippin' kidding me. 
They had a shaky rock ground right next to... Oh, no. I guess not. I thought there was a bench here. Hmm. Actually, I should double check if it's a... thing. Okay. There it is. All life into Baja Blast. Oh, hmm. Interesting. I don't know about healthier shell. I assume that's either damage reduction or like doubled health. Certainly a risk versus reward thing that I don't. care to deal with. I like being able to heal. Yeah, I want I wanna I wanna keep my uh sprite. Or no, I called it Well, I've called them alien faces. And then for a while I was calling soul milk, because I didn't know it was soul. It's also like it would have to be a heck of a boost, because it's Four notches. Like, that is a lot. It makes me wonder if there is a, an additional benefit. Yeah, see, there's the bloody rock thing. Oh, those bloody shaky rocks drive me nuts. I know, right? I mean, I'm just calling it, I'm just calling it how it is. You don't have oval, whitish heads without getting them called alien faces. Okay, that didn't work. Goodbye, Gorb. You were... Okay, I guess. Strong. Okay. No exorcism here. Wait, map updated? Joni's Repose. Huh. Interesting that he got marked. Do you have anything else to teach me? Hellasomet. My brother Shio, how fare you in that green kingdom of thorns you call home? I think of you every time I raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? I like to think you do. Okay, so... I wonder if there is a third... Well, obviously there's a third, third one. far as melee thing to unlock. 